Good day, everyone. Thank you for attending my class. On this day, we are going to read a very interesting story. We're in. From this story, we will learn something that we can apply to our daily life. And I would like to share to you my screen right now. So we can start at once about this story. So the lesson that we will be discussing today is all about discovering the personal challenges. Of course, each one of us here has his own challenge in life. And sometimes it limits us to do something efficiently because of these challenges. Now, how are we going to overcome these challenges that we have in life? For sure, you will learn this from this story. And this story, of course, before that, this story, this will be your expected outcome after this session. After reading this story, you are expected to do or answer activities. You will be asked from time to time to download an activity from a Google Drive link and send the file to its respective Google Form links. All activities must be submitted during the session except for the last activity, which means I will give you time to answer the activity, then um, send it at once after answering them all. So, relax and have fun. Going back to our lesson that I'm talking about, so it's all about um, the challenges that I I mentioned earlier now the question here is do you know someone who has accomplished great things despite his or physical disability he cannot see and yet he's very successful in life he has no arms or he is infirm or any physical disability and yet he's very successful so can you think even one person okay so i think you are now ready for the story let me introduce to you a motivational speaker who has touched in many lives because of his story Do you know who is this person and what could be the struggles of this person in life Meet this person. The name is Nick Bujisi. So they pronounce pronounce this last name as Bujisi. Nick Bujisi, Bujisi, sorry, Nick Bujisi's success story by Muhammad Ahmad Ali. Now, what could be the problem? What could be the challenges faced by Nick Bujisi? Of course, let's find out. By the way, this is Nick VGC. This is the person whom I am talking to you. I am talking with. Now, before we go to the story, let's have ponder first six questions before reading because later on you will be answering this. First is who is Nick? Second, who influenced him to be a motivational speaker? Third, how did he overcome his challenges in life? Four, did you have similar experiences with Dick Bujicic? And how did you face and overcome your own struggles and challenges? Do you agree that anything is possible with a positive attitude? Then, of course, you are going to explain your answer. So, let's read now the story, The Life of Dick. I will give you a few minutes to read the story silently or you can read it loudly even though I can't hear you. Then later on, we're going to discuss it um, slide by slide. Okay, let's read. Okay, by the way, you can pause this 
video for a moment. Then after reading, then you play it or uh, you play it so you can we can continue our lesson. So I'm going to read the story even though you have read already the first slide. So Nick Busick's success story. Nicholas James Busick, born on December 4, 1982, is an Australian evangelist and famous motivational speaker born with Tetra Amelia syndrome, a rare disorder characterized by the absence of arms and legs. He was born with no arms and no legs. Nick Gujicic has overcome life's challenges through strength and hope found in God Almighty. Nick Gujicic was born without arms and legs. On the morning of his birth, his father was so stunned, he almost fainted. Nick's mother refused to look at him or hold him for four long months. Doctor said, Nick would be a vegetable. Now, on the first slide, the question is, what is the syndrome of Nicholas James? Did you say? Yes, it is called Tetra Amelia syndrome, or simply, it is the absence of arms and legs during birth. And that is what happened exactly to Nick. And of course, his parents were also stunned and almost fainted, according to this slide, that, ev that even her mother did look at him or hold him for long months, for four months. So imagine that problem. And according to the doctors, Nick would be a vegetable. So what do you mean by that? It could be a vegetable. Yes, like a vegetable, it has no arms, it has no feet or legs. So it couldn't move at his, uh, uh, on its own. So that is. Yes. So let's continue. But uh, how did he overcome this kind of problem since birth? Let's find out. Rather, he learned to write operate an electric wheelchair and use a computer with his tools. Rather than sending Nick to a specialist school for children with disabilities, his parents sent him to a public school. So what could be the reaction if ever Nick will be your classmate? The same reaction on most of the fellow students. The school fellows bullied him and teased him constantly because of the way he looked. Growing up, Nick struggled with depression and felt completely hopeless. So that's what happened. Instead of sending him to a special school, he was sent to a public school. But then he was bullied. Although he could learn or he learned to write and operate electric wheelchair, wheelchair as you can see on the picture at your right side. Next is when Nick was 10 years old, he tried to drown himself in his family's bathtub. After several attempts, he realized that he didn't want his loved ones to suffer. Nick eventually came to terms with his disability and work on adapting a positive attitude. As he has said, the challenges in our lives are there to strengthen our convictions. They are not there to run us over. At the age of 17, he had an inspiring encounter with his high school janitor that changed his life forever. The janitor told Nick that you are going to be a speaker. The janitor is so something in Nick that he didn't see himself and encouraged him to share his story. Now, the question is, during his struggle, what did Nick attempt to do? 
to end his problem. Yes, he tried to draw himself at the age of 10, but then he realized that he didn't want his loved ones to suffer, and so he adopted a positive attitude. And according to him, what is his, uh, it's like the principle in life. Correct? The challenges in our lives are there to strengthen our conviction, convictions, rather. They are not there to run us over. So these challenges can be turned into conviction. So we can, uh, so we can fight any problems that we are facing. Now, the recent encounter happened to Nick at the age of 17. Who is this person? Yes, it was a janitor, and this janitor motivated this motivational speaker that he should share his life to encourage the others. And that was, that was what janitor saw something in Nick that Nick himself wasn't able to see. Next slide is Nick gave his first speech in front of an audience of six students. After realizing that he wasn't alone in his struggles, Nick wanted to help others find hope and meaning in life. Nick decided to go in public speaking to inspire others. Nick founded his nonprofit organization, Life Without Limbs. It gave him a platform to share his testimony and a campaign against bullying. Since then, Nick was has traveled to over 60 countries and inspired millions of people around the world. Nick has given over 3,000 speeches and speaking to people from all walks of life. Today, Nick is one of the most in demand motivational speakers in the world. Nick has learned not to let his limitations stop him from enjoying a happy life. So imagine how many audience does he had with his first speech? Yes, there are only six. From this six audience that he had, he already realized that he wasn't alone in struggles and uh, he find hope and meaning in life for being a motivational speaker now what is this organization that he founded yes the life without means non-profit organization and this organization helped those people who are Bullion. And it also encouraged the others and it has it campaigns the anti-bullying um, way of dealing with people. So he had already three thousand speeches. So imagine that. So well, he is really very successful in his life, although he has challenges. Now, as you can read at the end of this paragraph, it says here, Nick has learned not to let these limitations to stop him from enjoying a happy life. So even though we have limitations in life, doesn't mean um, that would be the reason for us to be not happy in our life. Of course, that like Nick, we have learned that we can still enjoy even though we have many limitations in life. Next slide. So, he's a very wonderful person. As you can see, he has many activities in life that he usually do. Nick has been skydiving, surfs, swims, and paint in his spare time. So imagine he can stand, he can, just, you can see the picture, skydiving, he's surfing, he's swimming, and he is also painting, even though he has many limitations. In 2008, 
Nick met a woman that came to hear him give a motivational speech. They fell madly in love and got married four years later. Today, Nick Bujicic is the father of four children. Nick Bujicic's first book is a best-selling book and has been translated to over 30 languages. Nick Bujicic's success story teaches us that what? Anything is possible with a positive attitude. Never lose hope and believe in yourself. Keep moving forward without looking back. And so, from this last part of the story, so what are the activities that he usually did during his spare time? As you can see in the picture, yes, skydiving, surf, swims, and painting. And he also had the best-selling book, which is translated to how many languages? Yes, there are 30 languages. So imagine that. Now, this story teaches, teaches us what? Yes, it teaches us that anything is possible with a positive attitude. That's why never lose hope and believe in yourself. You keep moving forward without looking back. And that's the only time you will be successful in life. And like Nick, he was, uh, he is very successful and he had already four children with a very beautiful wife. Now, I would like you to go over with the story once again before you answer the activity, okay? So let's go back from the very beginning and it'll give you time, ample time to reveal this story so that um, you will have, uh, you can still find the details that you might miss. So post is the first screen. You post the video after reading, then read the second screen. Post again the video. After reading, read the third screen. Post the video. After reading, read. The next screen, post once again. Next, you read the life on the last part, you pause, then imagine your life like Nick. Okay, after reading, let's have this activity. Practice exercise activity. Download the given link, then answer the following questions in complete sentences. Two points per item. After answering, send your file in Google Form link with this file name format. So you just copy, just change the Dilap Cruz 1 into your name. So just click this. Just click this uh, Drive Google activity, then you will find the following questions. After answering the questions, then you send it to the Google form link. Now, pause this, and after um, 10 minutes, I am expecting you to send this activity. Okay, after answering the activity, so let's try to answer. If your answer is correct. Who is Nick Bujicic? Nick Bujicic is a motivational speaker, a very successful one. 
And he is also currently have this kind of syndrome, tetra, wherein he has no legs and arms. Now, who influenced him to be a motivational speaker? Yes, it was Jennifer who influenced him to be a motivational speaker. Number three question is, how did he overcome his challenges in life? Yes, by having a positive attitude. He overcomes his challenges in life by having a positive attitude in life and strengthening his faith and hope with the Almighty God. Did you have similar experiences with Nick GGC? Well, that could be answered personally. And how did you face and overcome your own struggles and challenges? So you will answer it also personally. Do you agree that anything is possible with a positive attitude? Yes. Then, explain your answer. Of course, we agree that everything will be possible if you have a positive attitude. Because in spite of the problem, you can still see a positive viewpoint or advantages that you can use in your life to move forward. So I'm expecting you that what we had answered today is the same with the activity you have recently sent. Okay, next activity is this. Activity two, map it out. Now that you have learned the life story of Nick Vujicic, share your ideas by recreating the graphic organizer and writing your realizations on your answer sheet. Now, do the same. You download the link and send your answer at the Google link below. So, what you're going to do? For instance, this one, I have learned from life of Nick Gizik that then you write your answer on or inside the boxes. For instance, I've learned from life of Nick Gizik that I can overcome my challenges in life by being positive. So, that is only an example so the same with the others and being different on doing your best and on having support from family and friends so pause the video again then afterward you answer this activity then send it to the google link as you can see on my screen or on your screen Well, I think you're done with this activity. Now for the final activity, which will be sent later on in the evening after answering this, answer the question in paragraph form. Make sure to provide the title. Use one whole sheet of paper. Since you don't have one whole sheet of paper, so use the activity sheet that I sent you or for you to download. And that's it. Since this is a subjective test, your teacher will check your work. Be guided by the rubrics below. So the question is, what are the three important things you learned from the life story of the UGC? So five points for the content, five points for the punctuation marks, intention, neatness, and to make it 10 points all in all. So download the activity, and the Google link and send it to me later. So pause again this video and I will wait for your answer. Okay. So I assume that you are finished since you are playing this video. So what we have learned from Nick, of course, first, be positive in life. Second, whatever struggles in your life, find something to do wherein you can move forward. And what else that we've learned? We've learned that um, by strengthening your faith and hope with all the Almighty God, you will be able to overcome all the struggles in your life. So whatever struggles in your life today, 
for sure you will win for sure you will move forward and of course don't forget to share also your stories to the other people to encourage to to be uh, so you can encourage them to in doing what you did now for additional resources you can watch the following youtube Okay, that's all class. Thank you once again for attending and listening to our discussions. Good day, everyone. Thank you.